Hi, today's video is about the IRS Notice CP504, or the Notice of Intent to Levy, sometimes called the Final Notice. This notice is intended to give you one last chance to pay your bill before the IRS starts garnishing your bank account or wages. So what should you know about it? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Holland King, a tax attorney that helps small businesses and individuals with their tax problems. Whether it's an IRS audit or pass through balance, I'm here to help. Today's video is about the IRS Notice CP504. This is the notice of the intent to levy. Basically, the IRS is about to start taking money from your bank account, from your wages, or other direct actions that they intend to use to collect on the money for, to pay off your debt. Before this, you should have received several other notices, including, possibly, a notice that a change was made to your tax return. We've talked about that. Also, there is a notice that there is past due balance. We've talked about that. Then there is a notice of notice to file a lien, and now the IRS is moving on to the levy. The levy is an IRS tool used to collect assets of the taxpayer who has a past due balance. This is one of the last steps in the collection process, and it can be one of the most painful ones because you could wake up one morning and have an empty bank account. When you receive this notice, it doesn't mean that you're going to wake up tomorrow to an empty bank account. It also doesn't mean that they have already levied your bank account. What it does mean is that you have approximately 30 days from the date of the notice to do something. Either pay off the tax debt, make arrangements to pay it off, or prove to the IRS that the tax debt is incorrect. So we've talked about what the letter is. Let's talk about some of the main sections of it. In the header of the letter, on the right-hand corner, is all of the identifying information that you receive on normal IRS correspondences. This includes the notice type, in our case, CP504, the tax year in question, or the tax periods if it's not for income tax year, the notice date, which is important because you only have 30 days from the date of the notice to respond, the taxpayer identification, and a number to call the IRS if you need assistance. In the body of the letter, you have the total amount due, in this case, it's about $9,500. Of that, you see that it's broken down into the amount owed of $9,400, some penalties, and some interest. You may be able to get some of those penalties waived, but that's a discussion for another video. Finally, at the bottom, you have information for how to pay this amount, either on the web at irs.gov payments, via mail, Make sure that you read the instructions and send a check along with the appropriate information included in the notice or over the phone in order to set up a payment agreement or some other form. Within this notice, or possibly one of the prior notices that you've received, there is information regarding the collections due process hearing. This is a hearing that will stop the collections action temporarily so that you can appeal one more time the tax debt. You may have to appeal it as not being able to pay. This can include offering compromise or an installment agreement or partial pay, or that you think the tax debt is incorrect. This is going to be a last ditch effort before the IRS moves forward with the levy. If you believe that the amount is correct, then the best course of action is to pay it off or make arrangements to do so. Generally, if you can pay it off in full, that is the best option because that's going to stop any additional penalties and interest from accruing and making the debt larger and larger. However, if you can't afford to pay off the amount in full, then find another arrangement, including an installment agreement, an offer and compromise, or a partial pay agreement. Any of these options will stop the collections process and prevent the IRS from levying your bank account, your state tax refund, your wages, or other assets that you have. Note that by now in the process, the IRS has already filed liens on your assets. This can include your house. So if you're looking to sell in today's market, you need to take care of this first. So what happens if you ignore this? Well, the next step is for the IRS to move forward with this levy action. If you do not respond within 30 days, then the IRS is going to send you out another notice saying that they are levying your bank account or other forms of income. This will also go to your bank or to your employer and definitely to your State Department of Revenue. So at that point, it's really too late to start trying to deal with this. You need to do that now. However, if you are at that situation, 
make sure you contact a tax attorney because you need to act immediately. You need to act immediately at this letter or prior to this, but at any point, make sure that you get in contact with a tax professional to help you out. So that's it for today. If you received a CP504, make sure that you do something now. Don't ignore it. Don't think that the IRS is going to go away. However, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or reach out to me directly and we can discuss your situation. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be producing more content like this in the near future. Until then, have a good day.